1986 AD, 58.80 AM. President Reagan orders US airstrikes against Tripoli for interference with US military exercises in the Gulf of Sirte. On April 26, the Soviet nuclear power plant at Chernobyl, Ukraine, explodes, releasing radiation over Europe. A mismanaged safety test resulted in a nuclear meltdown, contaminating thousands of square miles and killing at least 250 people. The Soviet nuclear submarine K-219 exploded from a fire in a missile tube northwest of Bermuda, the official story, sinking three days later to the bottom of the Atlantic. These disasters were after the January 28th explosion of the space shuttle Challenger that killed all seven astronauts, a mission carrying the first civilian into space, a teacher. This was the two-tenth year, 70 times three, of the USA. Also in 1986 in the region of Cameroon, Africa, hydrogen sulfide gas seeping out of Lake Neos killed thousands of people and livestock. Halley's Comet appeared on schedule and will not return again until 2061. A five-mile-wide asteroid named Adonis, Lord, passed within 186,000 miles from Earth, or 52,000 miles closer than the Moon. The Statue of Liberty is reopened on July 4th after refurbishments. This year is 120 years before Armageddon in 2106 AD, and the return of the chief cornerstone who destroys the Anunnaki. In the Hebrew Gematria, the sum of foundation is 120. As Comet Halley passed through the inner solar system, the European space station Giotto measured its tail at 10 million miles long and took the first ever photograph of a comet's nucleus, its foundation. In 1986, a major oil discovery was made concerning the foundations of the Earth, made by Robert Gentry. He found that billions upon billions of polonium-218 radio halos are entombed within the Earth's granite crust around the world. Granite is basement rock, the foundation or skeleton of the planet. It requires about three minutes for radio halos to appear, but they quickly vanish. The mystery is how they appeared in solid granite. For granite must have already been hard when the halos appeared because the halos would otherwise have long since dissipated during the cooling period. And creating radio halos is impossible, for molten granite does not produce them, but instead produces rhyolite. Thus the halos present in granite means that the granite was formed in an instant. Granite with its large crystals cannot be made from molten rock, and the radio halos captured in the stone are evidence of instant creation that occurred at the foundation beginning of the world. Interestingly, crop circle researchers in this year noticed a change in the formation of agroglyphs in 1986, observing that this was the first time crop circles had appeared with rings around them, halos. The 120 years to Armageddon from 1986 remind us of the warning Noah received 120 years before the Great Flood. Noah was born in 2839 BC or 1056 Annus Mundi, and 1986 AD was exactly 4244 years after the Great Flood in 2239 BC, or 1056 times 4 years. Retired astronaut Colonel James Irwin, who was a part of the Apollo program, was the devout Christian who founded the High Flight Foundation years earlier for the sole purpose of finding Noah's Ark on Mount Ararat. In fact, in his life, he had participated in five expeditions of Mount Ararat, noting that this vast and strange ice mountain concealed the greatest wooden artefact in human history upon a gigantic mountain absolutely devoid of trees. Colonel Irwin noted that Mount Ararat was probably the greatest mountain in landmass than any single mountain in the world, and is the highest mountain in Turkey. Planning the 1986 expedition for many years, Jim Irwin had taken a Turkish flag with him to the moon, allegedly, just so he could be granted permission from Turkish officials to climb Ararat. Irwin was also made aware of a top-secret US reconnaissance photo collection of Noah's Ark, revealing its exact location. In 1986, the snowcap and glacier had receded more than in many years. Jim Irwin flew the plane, and with him was Jan Vandenbosch, 
executive producer for Dutch National Television. On the north face of the mountain facing Ahura Gorge, as majestic as the Grand Canyon, they filmed a gigantic wooden structure resembling a boat that fit the description of all prior Ark sightings. Convinced it was the Ark of Noah, the Dutch film was shown in Holland, but Jim Irwin wanted to mount a ground expedition to the site before he announced it to the world. Turkish officials denied this and Irwin died of a heart attack in 1991. The photo gallery in The Incredible Discovery of Noah's Ark is absolutely amazing. This was the 84th year of the Giza course countdown of the last days that began in 1902 AD, with the foundation of the Great Pyramid being year 1, 1902. 1986 was also 84 years before the resurrection event in 2070 AD, 414 times 5, the year 2070 paralleling the Annus Mundi year 2070, which was 2239 BC, or the year of the Great Flood. The message of the Great Pyramid as shown in Lost Scriptures of Giza is of resurrection and redemption, and the monument was built before the flood to preserve prophetic knowledge through the cataclysm. The monument is a symbolic structure emblematic of redeemed humanity that when built, the chief cornerstone will sit upon the top descending from heaven in 2106 AD, 6000 AM at Armageddon. He is the stone the builders rejected. Amazingly, this year, 1986, is 4,800 years, 600 times 8, since the completion of the Great Pyramid in 2815 BC. And in 1986, a previously unknown chamber was discovered inside the Great Pyramid. Inside it was found to be full of sand that was analysed and determined to have come from the Sino region, found behind eight-foot-thick walls beyond the passage to the Queen's Chamber by French architects Gilles Dormion and Jean-Patrice Goydin. Of further curiosity is the fact that 1986 was 1460 years into the Anno Domino calendar that began in 526 AD, 1460 being the ancient Egyptian Sothic cycle. 1. 20th century events. 2. Natural disasters. 3. Atlantis in America. 4. The Stones and the Scarlet Thread. 5. Evolution Cruncher. 6. Crop Circles, Signs of Contact 7. The Incredible Discovery of Noah's Ark 11. Journey to the Mythical Past 1987 AD, 5881am The Iran-Iraq War continues and the United Nations calls for a ceasefire and is ignored. The worst floods in 40 years afflicted Bangladesh, leaving over 20 million people homeless. The Dow Jones Industrial Average plunged 508 points precipitating massive falls in share values around the world. Pope John Paul II, in his Redemptoris Mater, ruled that the Virgin Mary was truly a virgin even after the birth of Jesus, for her hymen remained intact. This statement is so contradictory to common sense that any intelligent person should be offended by it. It begs the question, how does the Pope know this? There are no authentic early Christian contemporary writings from the first century during Jesus' life, none. Everything we know of a person now called Mary was composed by the early Roman Catholic Church, hundreds of years after she was supposed to have lived. It is mind-boggling that the Pope would utter such nonsense in 1987, and further incredible that people would believe it. 1. 20th century events. 2. The Jesus Papers. 1988 AD, 5882 AM. An earthquake in the Soviet Union kills 25,000 people in northern Armenia. George Bush Sr. becomes the President of the United States, former CIA, having many constituents in the military industrial complex and oil industry. Under Bush, the USA would invade Iraq, and under his son, President George Bush Jr., the USA would again invade Iraq. On July 3rd, the US warship Vincennes shot down an Iranian passenger jet, killing all 290 people on board. On December 21, a Pan Am passenger jetliner exploded over Lockerbie, UK, killing all 270 aboard. 1. 20th century events. 1980 AD, 5883 AM. On March 23rd, an asteroid over half a mile wide 
missed Earth by only 700,000 miles. It appeared undetected, surprising astronomers, and had it been six hours later, it could have killed 70% of all life on the planet. On March 24th, the Exxon Valdez oil tanker ran aground and spilled an estimated 11 million gallons of oil in the Pacific off the Alaskan coast. A solar flare pointed at Earth shorted out the Canadian power grid, leaving 6 million people with no power. Soviet satellite probes launched called Phobos-1 and Phobos-2 and were sent to investigate Mars moon Phobos, the venture supported by NASA and the European Space Agency. Phobos-1 simply vanished. Phobos-2 made it to Mars and sent back photographs from a normal camera and infrared. The very last pictures sent by Phobos-2 were of a cigar-shaped UFO, the same kind seen around Earth. The probe was destroyed and officially written off as a mechanical error. The US space probe Voyager 2 passes the orbit of Neptune and out of the planetary solar system. On October 17th, an earthquake struck San Francisco, California. The Loma Prieta quake caused a rupture in the Earth 25 miles long. The internet was first commercially available in this year, though not fully operational until 1990. On November 10th, the Berlin Wall is open, allowing East and West Berliners to cross over. 1. Atlantis in America 2. 20th century events 3. Beyond 2012 4. The complete story of the San Francisco horror 1990 AD, 58.84 AM The USSR undertakes to withdraw from Czechoslovakia. Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Uzbekistan, Moldova, Ukraine, Belarus and Armenia declare their independence from the USSR. This is exactly 2592 years, 864 times 3, after the ancient Israelites settled the Balkans after escaping away from the Assyrian frontiers, when Assyria fell to the Medes and Persians. This same 2592 years from 603 BC measures the time from the Babylonian invasion of Judah in 603 BC to the Iraqi Babylonian invasion of Kuwait in 1990 on August the 2nd. The US intelligence agencies knew in advance that an invasion of Kuwait was planned and did nothing to warn the Kuwaiti people, seeking a pretext by which America could attack Iraq. The Hubble Space Telescope is launched into orbit, becoming mankind's eye into deep space. In 1990, the first crop circles appeared having lines connecting circle agroglyphs. This year marked the beginning of complex pattern crop formations, and Germany reports its first documented crop circle. 1. 20th century events. 2. Crop circles, signs of contact.